polling for the seventh and final phase of Lok Sabha election 2019 is underway in 59 constituencies, including Varanasi, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi is seeking to retain the seat. Over 10 crore people will decide the fate of 918 candidates across seven states and one union territory in this election. Polling across nine Lok Sabha seats in West Bengal started today morning admits reports of technical glitches and stray incidents of violence in certain polling stations. Polling was delayed due to EVM malfunctioning in some polling stations. There were reports of VVPAD and EVM machines not working in different parts of Kolkata, resulting in anger and frustration among voters. A bomb explosion occurred at the residence of a doctor last night in Imphal's Thangmeban Selung Balaikai. A dog was injured in the explosion but human casualties were not reported. The incident happened around 11 pm at the courtyard of Dr. Kongban Tabam Vyas, aged 50 years, who is currently working as a neurosurgeon at Sizo Hospitals, Imphal, a police report said today. A 30 year old woman who was stabbed by her husband on May 4. Sakam last midnight at Ras Medi City Hospital, Imphal, after six days of medical treatment. Nupia Kupi died at 12.30 am. The accused husband, Mayang Mayum Rafi, aged 35 years from Moray Ward No. 5, Muslim Nagar Likai, is currently in judicial custody. 43 Assam Rifles today handed over a four-room toilet to Jehovah Children Home at Moray Town near National Highway 102. Nagaland will join the Himalaya Cleanup Campaign, a cleanliness drive on May 25th to focus attention on the problems of waste in the mountains. The social work will be conducted in five districts of the state Kohima, Mokokchung, Dimapur, Mon and Junheboto districts. The Federation of Kasi, Jantia and Garo people while celebrating its 30th anniversary yesterday reiterated that it would continue with its demand to implement the inner line permit in Meghalaya if the proposed entry exit points are not effective in tackling the problems of influx and illegal immigration. Three northeastern states, Assam, Meghalaya, and Arunachal Pradesh, have been included in the list of 101 elephant corridors on which Wildlife Trust of India and respective state governments are working to protect the same for wild patchdoms. Republican lawmaker Justin Ames said that he believed Donald Trump has engaged in impeachable conduct, becoming the first politician of his party to call for removing the president from his party. The Michigan representative also accused Attorney General William Barr of deliberately misleading the public over the actual content and tenor of special counsel Robert Mueller's report on Russian interference aimed at tipping the election to Trump. MS said few members of Congress even read Mueller's report, which identified multiple examples of conduct satisfying all the elements of obstruction of justice.